Breaker Broke 23. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a couple ways we can play music from our iPhone through a vintage home stereo. All right, this is pretty easy to do. And I'm going to show you a few different ways to do it. First of all, let's start with Bluetooth. Okay. So I'm uh, using the Blafilly B3. This is a high resolution Bluetooth receiver. This uh, will uh, allow us to stream music from our cell phone via Bluetooth or wireless. So we can walk around the room, walk around the house with this phone without being tethered to the stereo. We can play our music files from here to here, and then this will play through the home stereo. Okay. So what I have here on the back is I have our power input connector here. This uh, will input the power from an AC wall adapter. I have a few outputs here. I have optical output, coaxial output, analog or RCA output here, and then XLR balanced output there. And that's kind of neat for uh, you guys that do mobile DJs or DJing or anything like that. You can plug this into your soundboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna power this up. I have a five volt wall adapter permanently mounted into my bench here. So I always have uh, USB power. Uh, this is turned on. I am going to pair this. And now I'm ready to play a music file. By the way, these RCA connectors that are hooked up uh, on the back of this receiver here are hooked up to the auxiliary the auxiliary input on the back of the Technique stereo. Okay, uh, let's play some files. Let's play a file here. How about some uh, copyright free music? What do I have here? I don't want to get busted by the copyright cops. Let's go with this, a little Mulholland. Forgot to turn the volume up on the stereo. So here we go, we have our music. Okay, now, we have done this wirelessly. Come on, phone. Okay, this is wireless. We're not tethered to our stereo system at all. We can walk around the house, and as long as we're within range, it's like 30, 60 feet or so of the Bluetooth device, um, we can control the volume up, down with our volume controls on the phone and our tracks, fast forward, uh, rewind, play, stop, etc., etc. That's really cool. All right. These modern Bluetooth receivers, Bluetooth 5.0 and above, are what we would call a high-resolution receiver. Um, they're not CD quality, not yet. We'll probably have a few years to go. But because of their wireless, they may not ever actually get to total CD quality. All right, so if you want to kick it up another notch and you don't mind being tethered, we can get closer to CD quality still with this phone going through your vintage stereo. So I will show you how to do that with uh, this setup here, okay? So in order to do this, we are going to need a lightning adapter. This lightning adapter has a USB port and then a power port here. So you plug your AC wall adapter in for your iPhone into here to power up the phone. And then we're gonna use a cable for this. So let's let's do this. Let's We're gonna still use the Blafilly I'm going to unplug it from my wall unit here. Uh, remember, all of our connections are still the same. We have it plugged into the back here. I'm going to take and I'm going to plug that USB connector into my lightning adapter. And my phone still has a pretty good charge on it, so I don't really need to worry about powering that up. If I, I'm going to listen for any extended period of time, or maybe my battery's getting low, then I'll just take my, my OEM... Um, power cord from the iPhone and plug it into the adapter like so, okay? But I don't need to do that for this demonstration. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this lightning adapter. We're gonna hook it into the phone itself. In a second or two here, we're gonna see that it's firing up the Bluffilly. The B3 is now being powered from the phone. And that's why I was saying earlier, uh, if you're gonna listen to it for any length of time, maybe you just wanna plug that into your lightning adapter as well, all right? Um, we don't have to untether this from the Bluetooth portion of this, but I can do that, so I'll just do it for giggles. 
because we can cut we can leave those on it's not going to really hurt anything but anyway let's go back let's find that music file again and go from here okay now i don't know if you can tell this on camera we do have a little bit better audio quality now depending on the quality of your stereo system uh, you may or may not hear this uh, upgrade but basically what I'm doing now is I am taking digital music files from here and I am going directly in to the DAC portion of the uh, Bluetooth adapter and what we're doing is we're converting digital files that went through the cord here and it's just going straight out the RCA we have no wireless technology involved here or anything like that and that is just a great way to go. The B3 gives us this kind of flexibility. We could also take this connector and plug it into the USB port of our laptop or our home computer, which is what I do a lot. That's how I play my hundreds and hundreds of music files um, that I have here in my computer. And I play that music through my uh, stereo receiver. Okay, now, I'll show you another way to do this. So if you're not interested in Bluetooth at all, then you could pick up a standard DAC. This is just what I call just an outboard DAC. This is the shit Modi 3. Yes, you heard the name right. These guys have a pretty cool sense of humor. This product comes from California. This is a US-based product uh, made and assembled here in the United States of America. Um, I love it. This is one of my favorite... Um, DACs and these are not expensive these are I don't know a little over a hundred bucks now so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these the same ratty old pair of RCA's these things I've had these for a hundred years I swear I'm gonna plug this in to the back of my DAC I am going to I am going to um, take where was it here i'm sorry i'm gonna take my oh i need to swap connectors i knew that all right no cuts no takes swing miss and errors are all played here okay i'm gonna plug this into my this is a uh, mini uh, usb micro usb i guess and uh, it's not usb c like the other device was i'm gonna plug this into my lightning adapter and again my uh, Apple phone powers up my DAC. These guys are ready to talk to each other. And there we go. Okay, I'll shut that off for a second. All right, so now the advantage to this is this is a dedicated digital to analog converter. Um, this has a slight improvement over this. Remember, this is kind of a do-all device here, a really top quality do-all device, no doubt about it. Gives you lots of flexibility. Um, but this is a dedicated DAC and slightly better audio quality. However, you're always going to be tethered. So you won't be able to do this wirelessly. This has no Bluetooth action in this thing at all, okay? So if you don't mind that, then uh, I would definitely recommend the Modi 3. If you want something a little more flexible, then I would recommend the Blafilly B3. So yeah, anyway, I've been getting a lot of questions about this lately. In fact, I need to do just a stand-up video alone on um, the difference between uh, a DAC and a Bluetooth DAC um, because there's a lot of marketing hype going on right now coming out of uh, Asia with this. When you see uh, Bluetooth receivers, they'll say Bluetooth uh, DAC. Well, that's this right here. But honestly, all Bluetooth receivers have some sort of a DAC because they have to convert digital music files to RCA output. Or else how are you going to play them out, right? How are you going to play them back? So anyway, there's that. But um, yeah, these are my two favorites at the moment. Um, this one has been in my arsenal for, oh, about three years now. 
I really like this one. Um, I'm not really sure the sales price on the B3 right at the moment. Uh, go to blahphilly.com. I'll leave a link to this down below. Uh, I do believe I have a promo code in there of BB23. I'll leave all that information down. You can order this factory direct. You cannot get this from Amazon. Uh, you'll have to go factory direct on this. You'll work right with the guys at Blahphilly. Not a problem. Um, and then the Modi 3, I'll leave a link to this down below. And there may or may not be an Amazon link to this uh, because uh, Amazon and these guys, I don't know, this, this particular brand comes and goes from Amazon. But this is top-notch gear made in the United States of America. Of course, this comes from China. Um, great little DAC. However, you are always going to be tethered if you want to do this. With this one here, you have the option of being tethered and Bluetooth. And honestly, you know, you're going to give up uh, uh, just a little tiny bit of audio quality when you do this wirelessly, even though all these new Bluetooth receivers are what they call high res, if it's Bluetooth 5.0 and above. And I have many of these receivers in my arsenal here that I, that I like and that are pretty darn close to CD sound. However, this is going to get you the closest. All right. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps some of you guys out there. And uh, if you have questions or comments, please leave those down below. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. And thanks for watching.